Hey everyone, Mam here, and today, guys, we're playing Restaurant Tycoon 2. So, it's been a while since I last played this game. We've, we uh, opened at a Mem Chill Epic Diner, and uh, we've rated the big old rated 1.4 stars. So, yeah. Uh, this is my restaurant, boys. I have played this game a bit in the past. I've got a lot of progress, but yeah, my restaurant looks very terrible, rundown, absolutely garbage, in fact. So, guys, today we're going to be trying to make this place look better by making it look worse. So, if you do enjoy the video, smack like, subscribe, and let's do this. All right, then, so first things first, I'm going to imagine we're probably going to need to, uh, do we need money yet? We, we probably need money. Like, money would be real nice right about now, I'm not going to lie. Money would be absolutely lovely. So we need to just wait for these guys to eat their meals. Like, hurry up and eat your meals. I'm going to dance to your table so you eat faster. There you go. Eat faster. You've got a dancing member on your table, guys. Now eat faster. Dancing members on the table. Hurry up. Hurry up. Look, look. That food's not going to eat itself. Now hurry up. Munch. Munch on. What the heck is this guy even eating? What even is that? What the heck even is that? Ugh. That looks vile. Yuck. Um... Oh, do we need to help this guy cook? You're falling behind on orders here, chief. I guess we're going to have to help you cook then. You're the one being paid for this. I'm not supposed to be the fat, lazy owner. You're being paid for this, Graham, the chef. Let's also fire to the food. There we go. Uh, oh, we made it. Okay, cool. Bruh, Graham, you need to hurry up We are cooking. I'm trying to run a business here. I can't be cooking all the food for you, bro. I want another table, to be fair. Yeah, I want to put another table, like, by the window. Another window table. That would be lovely if we could do that. I don't know how bad this thing. Like, the whole place looks so run down and barren. Like, you're, gonna, like, you're definitely going to get food poisoning if you eat here. That's all I'm saying. Like, this place is food poisoning heaven. I'll take his orders because our waiter is uh, busy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do quite like Russian Tycoon. It's a good tycoon. We do need money, though. So, you know, I need to uh, get my money gains in. Boy, Graham, I'm sure I'm cooking here. Wait. Oh, look at that first money. 12 bucks. Nah, literally just got 12 bucks for that. We got 12 bucks. That's it. That's it. I need to get like a like a bigger plot of land or something, bro. This is terrible. Build. Uh, no, not a build. Uh, where do we go for that? Wait, so, oh, we got all the upgrades here. Expand plot. 600 bucks. Bruh, I need 600 bucks. I don't, well, I don't have that kind of money. I can't even afford rent. Like, bro, literally paid $34 for that entire meal. We're going to be here all day, man. We're going to be here all day. All right, so, you know, while we're waiting for some moolah to come rolling in, let's go check out our rival's business, which is right here. This is our rival's business. Chunky Choices is our rival. Okay, we need to beat Chunky Choices. We need to be better than these guys. Let's find out why we're better. I mean, it's the first place. What the heck? Was that a player? I swear it was a player. Or was that just me? I don't even know. Yeah, it's a player. It's Hazel. Bruh, it's Hazel just like Garfield or something. I don't even know. The bathrooms. They've got bathrooms. Bruh. they got bathrooms. I don't have no bathrooms. You just go, go to the toilet in the kitchen bowls or whatever. The cooking pots. Bruh, this place is much better than mine. This is why i got no customers. They're all here. They're all in Chunky Choices. Like, bro, I need ch I need to be like chunky choices. That's not. That's all I'm gonna say. Meanwhile, them two are on. Oh, wait, no, this is this is my restaurant. This is someone else's restaurant. This is that's not my that's my house. Wait, what? You get houses in this game? As bro, I don't even know. I don't even, I'm gonna go to my restaurant, not my house. This is where I live. This is where I live and breathe. Oh, 24 bucks. Um, we need to get more like tables or something. Um, we can go for like the regular dining table and put it like by the window. We'll get two of those by the window. Very nice. And then we need to, like, get some, like, chairs or something. Uh, chairs. Okay, we got, like, enough room for one chair. We have enough... Not enough room. We have enough room for a lot more chairs. We only have enough money for one chair. Oh, Dave, I've complete collected collect rewards. Oh, we got a new dish. Give me my dish. Uh, oh, I gotta get a steak and kidney pie. Good old steak and kidney pie, mate. Give me a steak and kidney pie to go, please, mate. Make it snappy. Extra kidney. Good old British cuisine. You can't ever go wrong with British cuisine. You know that. How much is certain? No way we can get an earnings boost game pass. No way. Well, I kind of want to get an earnings boost. You know what? I'm feeling in a good mood. I had IKEA meatballs earlier today, so I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy an earnings booster. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I just want name and shamed in a chat. Don't name and shame me, bro. Bad choice purchase earnings boost. No, I can't believe I've bought something in... Two, vivid, uh, two tycoon videos in a row I've bought something now, bruh. What have I become? I've become the very thing I swore to destroy. A tycoon in-game pay-to-win buyer purchase thingy guy thing. So bye, guys. I'm using these chairs on purpose. These really uncomfortable looking chairs because, uh, yeah, these chairs are meant to hurt your back. So you go quicker. You eat your food quicker and leave. That's the whole point of it. I want you to eat your food and get out and give me my money. That's all I want you to do. That's it. That is it, lads. 
I'm not gonna lie, my waiter is kind of popping off. He's doing bits out there. Like, look at him go. He's rolling around, giving us so much money, bringing us in the income. Like, this guy is actually what we like to call in the industry a goat. Oh, we got ourselves a new dish. And, oh, we got ourselves some chicken wings. We gotta become Kentucky Fried Men chill. Let's go. Kentucky Fried Men's, but we don't just sell chicken, we sell hopes and dreams. And then we crush them when you find out the prices. And also to stay in the building when you end up in a hospital with your hospital bill. Because this is America, guys, and hospitals are not free. Finally, some actual money. Thank you to all of my customers and my Patreons. Thank you to everyone who ate in my diner. Now get the heck out and never come back. Unless you give me money, then you come back. Oh, we'll be back, don't worry. I feel like I need another chef. I don't know. I feel like my chef is really slow unless I'm doing it, everything for him. I don't want to do nothing for him. I'm a lazy, lazy, fat, ugly owner. That's what I am. That's me. I'm not a worker. I don't have no grind cell on. I don't know. Why am I making this? What the heck was that noise? Oh, that's that's my soup cooking. No, that's the soup cooking. Bro, why is this recipe so complex? There we go. Finally, bro. Finally. A table for two, please. Oh, a celebrity. Hi, ma'am. Hi, you a celebrity. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello. Please order food for me. I, I will do a dance for you. I'll do anything for money right now, guys. I'll do anything for money. I'll do anything for money. Now make it rain bells, guys. Make it rain bells. Let it rain over me, guys. Come on, please, celebrity. Give me some extra tips. I'm begging you, man. I need it, man. Man, we've got so many orders coming. Our chef's standing there. Why are you standing there, Graham? Finally got a recipe. Jeez, Graham, man. You're so lazy. You're so trash. What do I have to do with the cooking? You're meant to be the chef who's paid to be a chef. I'm meant to be the owner who's paid to be the owner. Not the chef. Okay, I think I do definitely need a new chef. This is way too busy, man. Bro, this is this is OTT, man. No way, someone's got a cottage pie. I'm making cottage pie right now, guys. Good old British cottage pie. Cottage, cottage pie. Absolutely amazing me, lads. Cottage poi is absolutely amazing. And I'm making a cheeseburger, apparently. And now I'm making chili con carne. Bro, so many recipes, man. All right, let's make another table, table for four. Let's make a table for four right in the corner, guys. Right in the corner. Using these uncomfortable chairs, of course. You know you know the drill by now. We can't afford it. I run out of money already. I literally placed a table and chair, and I'm broke again. That is just that is just a way right now, I'm not gonna lie. I can't keep up with these orders either. There's just too many of them. How many orders can one restaurant load of people have? Like, what is this? I swear, that celebrity better give me a lot of food or I'm gonna leave a bad review on Yelp. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna leave a bad review if they don't give me a good tip. Bro, he's sitting on a table on his own and orders grilled corn. Nah. I see why you're you're alone now, mate. I see why you're alone. You just want to grill corn. Like a bro turns corn put in the oven. What is that? Money, money, money. Hurry up! Oh my days. Eat! I'll eat them off your plate if you don't eat it and hide leave. Give me my money. I want money. Eat your macaroons, bro. Eat them. Oh my days. Hurry up. I know you're a celebrity's friend and all, but just eat them, bro. Thank you. 23 cash. That's it. You gave me... Oh, wait, no. They gave me way more than $23. They gave me a massive tip. Never mind. I take it back. Thank you very much. Uh, Let's get ourselves a chicken burrito. Let's go. Chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. Oh, I can now afford to better get this new table set up. There we go. There we go, mate. Here we go. And I, I want to hire a new chef. I'm not going to lie. I want to hire a new chef. Workers, how much does that cost? 500 bucks. Of course, it costs 500 bucks. What do I want a manager for? Oh, managers of players. Right, managers of players. Okay, we don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. I don't even know what we need, man. I don't even know what we need. Um, We could get the waiters. I'm going to get the waiter trays. So people can carry multiple trays at once. That should help us distribute food a lot better. Let's get another one of these tables in this corner. I'm not trying to make it look pretty yet. But, you know, we got to start somewhere, right? We just literally opened two more tables for four. We are going to be packed soon. I've got my work cut out for me here, bro. I'm not even going to lie. We are going to... We have got our work cut out. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Like, 
I'm going to do basically all the cooking because my chef sucks. Oh, my days is happening. It's happening, guys. Oh, my. I don't even know, bro. This is going to... <laughs> this is going insane. We got so much orders to do. There's only two of us working. We got one waiter. He's actually doing bits out there. Like, Johnny on the on the waiting floor, he's at. Graham in the kitchen on the hand? Nah, he's he's garbage. He's literally dumb. Okay, what is it with this table and ordering grilled corn? Why have these two people ordered grilled corn? I'm sorry, what? They, they The last guy that sat at this table on his own ordered grilled corn. Now you guys are ordering grilled corn. What is the fascination of grilled corn? It's corn that's been grilled. Like, what more is there to say? It's literally grilled corn. Like, is that really like a delicacy or something? I might be like, missing the idea of grilled corn, but is that really that big a deal? All right, let's open another table then for near. Uh, let's just put on one of these. 110. Come, does that work there? It should work. Just cram it in, bros. Cram it in. Get as many people here as you can. Who cares about comfort? Not me. What I care about is profit, because I am a businessman, guys. I'm an entrepreneur. No way, VIP! It's a VIP. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to dance the table for him. I'm dancing for you, VIP. You better order something good. He got a vegetable soup, okay? Sure. I'll keep dancing for you guys. I'll keep dancing. Now give me a tip. Okay, give me a tip now. He said, he promised me. Guys, he promised me he'll give me a tip. If he doesn't give me a tip now, he's uh, lying. Bro, so many orders to do. Ah. Oh. I really need that next chef, I'm not even gonna lie. My chef is an absolute uncool guy, that's what I'm gonna say. He's a very uncool. His name is Graham, so you know, can't be too surprised. Oh, day completed, what do we get? Ooh, we get a new dish, here we go. Um, ooh, garlic bread, I'll take some garlic bread, lads. I'll take some garlic bread. Um, oh, quesadillas, let's take some quesadillas as well. Nice, there we go, legendary. Now I just need to get enough money to uh, get the next chef. Because I really need a new chef to help me cook. So let's get that next chef and let's see if he can actually help us run this business any better. Because I need a chef that's just actually competent, you know. Graham over here, nah, he ain't cutting it no more. He ain't that guy. Ooh, here we go. Oh, money, money, money. Great dress on two, but one stars and drop 98. Okay, whatever. A mystery gift. What do we get? Steel utensils. Uh, okay. Whatever that means. Bro, we need so much money, man! Brother! Bro, we need so much. Almost there, though. Almost there. Hold the phone. That's not just a VIP a customer. That's two VIP customers. Yo! That's it, boys. That's the next chef. It's good as mine, lads. Good as mine. As good as mine, lads. That's all I can say about it. I've got 658 bucks. Workers hire a new chef. Almost hired a waiter by accident. Hire chef. There we go. Trainee chef. Okay, now, he, now he's going to, like, watch me cook for a little bit. So we've got to train up this guy. This is uh, Jonathan. Hello, like Jonathan. Oh, John wait, no, Jonathan was a waiter. Uh, this isn't Jonathan. This is, uh, this is, this is Clive. This is Clyde. 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 That's it, Clyde. Just got teaching the ropes, you know. We're showing Clyde how how we do things around here in the Memchill Diner. We do things pretty well. We're pretty basically out. We're just the coolest diner around. We're the coolest, least hygienic diner around. Who makes the best food? Man, we need this truth. We need we need Clyde so badly, bro. We need him so bad. All these orders are just piling up at this point. We can barely even manage. I've been basically non-stop cooking orders for like the like, I don't even know how long. So the last, I don't even know how long this has been. It's been so long I'm losing my marbles. That's all I can say. Oh, there you go. There you go. Clyde is ready to cook. Boys, let him cook, lads. Let him cook. I said let him cook. All right, there you go. These guys together should be able to get these orders done. And now I can get back to sitting on my big butt. Thank Bill the man for that. Here we go. They're done. Let's, let's see what they drop. Oh, look at the money. Now, give me a mystery gift. Okay, what mystery gift do you want to give me? A banana. Okay, I've got a banana. That's bananas, bro. But anyway, guys, that'll be all for today's video. So if you did enjoy, do smack like and subscribe. If you want to see another part, let me know in the comments down below. I got a daily quest complete, plus 200 cash. I wish I had that earlier. But yeah, we got a lot of money to splurge next time. So we'll get probably the extension or something. But I'll see you all next time. And as always, don't forget, eat in the mental diner and stay chill.